The massive Dixie fire continues to burn in parts of California. Daisy Caballero spoke with some evacuees as they packed up and headed out as the fire inched closer to their communities. The Dixie fire has exploded into the sixth largest wildfire in state history, burning over 44,000 acres from Wednesday night into Thursday morning. And as you can see behind me has unfortunately also implemented new road closures as well as evacuation orders here in the Westwood community. Um, it's devastating. It's really my first home. As the downtown city of Chester is still standing, other areas have unfortunately been destroyed by the Dixie Fire. People have reported extensive fire damage in the west area of Chester, which many tell me they're heartbroken by. Connie O'Grady of Chester packed up her and her four children's life in her car and says she's dreading leaving what they thought was their forever home. Here, tell me I'm what's going on. To evacuate but not hoping I'd love to stay um, I already took a load of stuff so this is just sentimental stuff now and extra clothes I also spoke with a firefighter who is currently battling the blaze and he tells me that he has never seen anything like the Dixie fire before in his entire career you know, I've been in California fighting fire for a really long time, and this, this fire in particular is, to me, it seems a little different. Like, we can't catch it every day. There's a plume just gets bigger. It pushes a whole lot further. And, you know, it's the first time in my career, 18 years, that I've seen so many plumes over so many days. So it's, it's definitely a little different. How are you feeling? Uh, I feel pretty good, you know, obviously we're here for the people, so like our emotions and our feelings kind of be, are put aside with everybody that's being evacuated, so we try not to show, you know, the emotional side, just, but I'm tired, you know, just like any other firefighter out here, been doing a lot of work, a lot of handline, a lot of construction, and yeah, just kind of ready for this fire to go down and go home. Reporting in Chester, I'm Daisy Caballero.